Welcome back to Avian Adventures. Today we are talking about the medical services that are available at Carolina Raptor Center for our wild bird friends. The Jim Arthur Raptor Medical Center sees between 800 and 1,000 wild raptors every year. Our goal is to get these birds 100% better so they can go back into the wild. The Raptor Hospital team is full of dedicated professionals that are passionate about helping wildlife. To start, let's explore how these birds get to the hospital. Most often, we rely on you. So many of our patients have been brought in by concerned citizens that have found injured birds on the side of a road or in their own backyard. Another option is to call on one of our amazing volunteers, trained to safely capture and transport injured and sick raptors. So what happens once an injured bird gets to the hospital? As soon as a bird arrives at our medical center, we perform an initial intake exam. This includes an overall physical, an eye exam, and a radiograph. During the physical, we look for things like broken bones, open wounds, and parasites. If we find any wounds, we clean them and apply bandages if necessary. We also check body and feather condition. Body condition can be the first indicator that a bird is in trouble. Many birds that come to the hospital are very skinny and need immediate fluids and nutrition to get them back on track. Feather condition tells us how well the bird can take care of itself. Good grooming is an indicator of overall health. The radiograph, another name for an x-ray, will tell us more about the bird's internal health, including any broken bones or the presence of a foreign body, like lead bullet fragments. A thorough eye exam is also very important because many raptors rely on keen eyesight to find their food. Once the intake exam is complete, our staff determines an appropriate treatment plan. Sometimes all a bird needs is a little rest and some food and they are good to go. Other times they need more complicated treatments, then they need time to get stronger before they can get released back into the wild. The type of injury or illness usually determines how long a bird will stay at the raptor hospital. For example, if a bird is just stunned from running into a window but has no other injuries, they can usually be released in a day. Healthy babies are also released quickly. In many cases, baby birds are brought to us when they don't need to be, and we are able to put them back with their parents right away. If a baby can't go back to their original nest, we can actually put them in with different parents of the same species who have an active nest. Most raptor parents don't mind having an extra mouth to feed. If a bird has a fractured bone, that usually takes about three months for the bone to heal and for the bird to get their strength back. Our cross pins right here that attach perpendicular into the bone. The last step for a bird before they can be released is for them to spend some time in a flight training enclosure to get back into shape. Carolina Raptor Center has some of the largest flight cages in the southeast. Each case is different and we work hard to set each bird up for a successful life once they are released back into the wild. Hey. You might be wondering, how can I help? Don't litter. Trash on the side of the road provides food for rodents, and rodents are a great meal for our raptor. Many of the birds that come into our raptor hospital were hit by cars. By throwing your trash away in a proper bin, you are helping to save wildlife. Another reason raptors come into our rehab facility is that well-meaning people bring in baby birds that do not actually need rescuing. When we see baby birds on the ground, our instinct is to take them somewhere safe. Unfortunately, this is a case of good intentions gone wrong. Many baby birds can simply be picked up and put back in the nest with their mom and dad. Raptors are terrific parents and are much more successful at raising their young than humans are. Don't shoot birds. While you may think this goes without saying, very recently our hospital has seen a huge spike in birds admitted with gunshot wounds. Unfortunately, these birds often die of their injuries within a few hours. We aren't sure why this is happening. They, along with hundreds of other birds, are protected by the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. At the end of the day, raptors make really great neighbors. Imagine having your own rodent control professional living right next door.
Having healthy raptors is vital to having a healthy ecosystem. So enjoy your neighborhood raptors and do what you can to keep them safe. But if you do notice a problem, call the Raptor Hospital and leave us a message. We'll be happy to answer any questions you have about the health and well-being of your avian neighbors.